In this video, I will be teaching you how to do the simple split knuckle SFX makeup. So let's get started, let's get our makeup palettes ready, and let's begin. We are going to be starting this makeup off by going and prepping some Sin Wax or Scar Wax. They're pretty much both the same, just Sin Wax has a bit more movement and I'll explain it a bit more later on in this video. Get your Sin Wax or your Scar Wax prepped and removed from the container. Sin Wax is a little bit harder, so it's going to take a bit more muscle to take it out and also get it prepped and ready to be warmed. And then go and prep your Scar Wax. Sin Wax is a little bit different than Scar Wax though because there's a lot more movement and it also takes a bit more time to prep. Plus also too, once it's fully and totally warmed, it can be really sticky if you don't use petroleum jelly. After you've rolled it out, go and create kind of a tube-like shape. Put it onto a knuckle and then from there, remove some of the Scar Wax from both sides. Take petroleum jelly and then use it to smooth out the surface and blend it in with your finger. Now it's going to look a little something like this. You're gonna have a hump on your finger and this does not look natural at all. So continue to go and blend the edges and remove scar wax as you go. Continue to go and shape the top of it, move some of the scar wax off and remove some. You're going to want this almost skin level but just slightly off of the knuckle. Continue to go and move the scar wax around and blend it out at the edges by using a circular motion. Remove the petroleum jelly once it's blended. Petroleum jelly just helps to go and move the scar wax around and also blend it as well. Take a blunt sculpting tool and dip it into petroleum jelly. Go and create a line in the center of the scar wax and when you're creating this line, go and make a separation at at least one end and open up this line a bit. It's going to look more realistic if you open it up at the top. And then continue to slowly shape this and also open up the top of it more to make it look more realistic. Go and get some black cosmetic and put it into the center. Do this for the whole entire opened area. After you have black cosmetic down, follow it up with red cosmetic. Blend it in with the black. I am using the Mehron Paradise palette and honestly this one's great for any SFX makeup that you think you might want to go and do. But you can also use lipstick or eyeliner or anything like that. Now, after you've put down that cosmetic, take some powdered cosmetic, tap it onto your hand so you get a whole bunch out, and this color should be a off red slash bright red. And then lightly brush the cosmetic onto the fake cut. Now, it's definitely really important to do this because you want to make it look swollen and as real as possible. After you've brushed on the cosmetic, go and get fake blood and put it into the center of the cut. You don't want to use too much though. Just a very light amount will do and it'll make it look pretty gross and also realistic. After the fake blood has been put down and also some of the cosmetic has dried or is fully and totally set, then you can go and move it around. I hope this makeup has inspired you and thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, I will be posting more SFX videos very soon. Take it easy, take care, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.